Hey guys, so in previous video we saw how to install a JDK. Now what we'll be doing is we'll be making our first Java code where we'll be displaying hello world in the command prompt. For that what we do is so you create a Java folder, like I've done it on my desktop, so you can do it on your desktop. I've created a Java folder. Now you go to your search bar and you search notepad. Note, you open that notepad and first what you'll be doing is you'll be doing the Java code. Now Java code is so first how you usually name a Java code is you put public class and you name it with a capital first letter caps. So you do display. Now enter you put double braces. Now oh, why we name it as public? This is so that everything in access modifier so everything any other program which you create also can access what's in this display class so the class because java uses object oriented programming so you'll be creating classes and everything so you define it in a class and the name of the class should be the first letter should be in caps and everything can be whatever it follows and when you save this file let's say you save it like in my case i've created a java folder so I'll be going to desktop and then my, in my Java folder, I'll save it. While you save it, whatever your class name was, you write the same. Mine was display and you put dot java dot java. So this will create a folder in your Java file called display dot java, which is a type of Java file. In your Java folder, you'll have this file. Now to, to run a Java code, you'll have to create a function under main. So what I'll be creating is public static void main and take in string args argument and then this also the code inside that will be in braces uh, when you're writing in no notepad it does not matter whether you indent it inside or you not or anything like that but usually when you use id it's indented but java does it does not matter whether it's if it's indented or not whatever is inside this inside these curly braces would be considered as the code inside the public class now whatever is there is inside this these curly braces will be considered a code inside the void main class main function. So why do you name this public static void main? And then you put the string arguments inside parentheses. So when you look at public, you put public because it's an access modifier, which means that this main function, when you access the display class, you can access the main function also. So you put it public. When you, when you say static means, what do you mean by static is uh, whenever you run this, it will create an object. And then when you once once this program is finished running, it'll it'll delete that object. So it does not have to be there like every time it'll create a new object and delete it automatically. Now why I'm saying it's void is because this main does not return any type. There are two types. Basically, you return in something or you don't. When you put void, it means it's not gonna return anything, whether integer or string or something. Now what you know what's a main main function is the main function. Now inside parentheses you take string argument. Now, when you say string bracket argument, it means an array of strings. And the name of the string is arguments, ARGS. That does not matter whether you put ARGS or your name or whatever it is, that does not matter. Now, in Java, to display something on the command prompt, what you have to do is this three set of keywords system dot out dot print. Now, inside quotes, you write what you want to display. I want to display hello, comma word and remember whenever you write in java once a line is complete you have to add semi semicolon at the end of the line so whatever you put it inside the inside the codes will be displayed in your terminal or whatever you want to display now system dot out dot print you can think of it as you have a system now what you want to do is you want to show it outside and it should be printed in the terminal so that's that's what you're basically doing system dot out dot print print it outside now there are two types of it one is system dot out dot print and another is system dot out dot print ln now when you put print ln uh, hello world let's say okay now what's the difference between print and print ln now when you put print it means that the word the, the words will, the phrase will be printed in the line and it does not matter and when you say print ln, it means the words will be printed and you have to make sure that the next time you put system.out.print will be printed in the next line. So that's the difference. Now, when you run this code, I'll, I'll save this code. 
file save now i'll go to the command prompt to make it simple so that it's opening this bar i go there i press c m d now you'll have the command prompt with the path specified to the uh, whatever you have the folder now one, to run this code what you do is j a v a c space and you write display dot java so display dot java so if you closely watch what's happening what's going to happen is java what it does is whenever it jdk what it do is it take the java file it convert into byte code it's a class file now once you run the class file it will display so do that you wrote java space display i give press enter now if you see hello world space hello world both are shown in the same big that's because you have put print here but print ln here now let's say i put print ln and then i just put a print here does not matter now again i save this code now i go to the go to my command prompt now you have to do both the codes again a a v a java c dot display dot java now it will modify the class file to, to whatever your new code is now to access whatever in command prompt the shortcut to access whatever you have previously written is up and down arrow so up arrow will go to the previous command the previous command before java c was java dot display now you press enter to that now see you have written different separate lines this is how you can use system dot out dot print and system dot out dot print to display your thank you